So I got a pretty good question over on my Patreon. Emmy asks me, when you set out to make a comic, do you focus on creating the characters and the story first, or do you focus on the world building first? I figure out the characters and the story first, because if I, if I don't have that figured out, world building becomes a creative trap, and I'll tell you why. But first, make sure you subscribe to my mailing list. As we get closer to launch date for the Wyatt graphic novel, I'm going to be sending out some really important announcements there in advance before it hits the rest of my social media feed. I promise there will be no spam, no pointless banter. It's just going to be really important updates for the book. Who knows, maybe even some exclusive content for subscribers only. Either way, it's going to be high protein, low carb. When I first started working on the project that later on became Wyatt, it really just started off as a uh, world building and character designing kind of thing, just to give myself some sort of central thing or the impression of narrative to post artwork around. And I did that for maybe a, at least a year or two until Kazuki Bushi over at Flight Comics uh, reached out to me and told me that I should make a comic with that character. Now, if Kazu hadn't asked me to make a comic, I probably would have just been world-building Wyatt into oblivion and ended up going absolutely nowhere with it. My problem with world-building is that I have absolutely no endpoint in mind when I start on it. Maybe this is because I'm not really a concept designer or a visual development type person, but uh, for me, whenever I start world building, you know, designing out vehicles, designing out maps and places, history and lore and all that stuff, you could keep doing that forever. Some artists are really good at knowing when enough concept art and design is enough. I'm not really one of them. In fact, there have been times where I kept doing concept art and world building indefinitely because it was a comfortable safe zone and I was afraid to actually progress from there and actually do the story. So how did I get ever get past that and design the world in Wyatt? It was by doing the story first. Once I had the written outline done, I had to just start making comic pages. And when I started on a lot of those pages, I didn't even know what the vehicles or buildings or even some characters were going to look like until I had to draw them on that comic page. A good example of this is the town that Wyatt starts off in at the start of the book. Uh, when, when I first started writing this, I had no idea what the houses would look like, really. I knew that it was a mining town and that they did some kind of wind farming for energy, but I didn't know what those houses were supposed to look like. Like, should they look like, you know, nice little hobbit holes or should they uh, be like the houses in Nausicaa. What helped me was writing this story from my own experience growing up in a rural mining town, agriculture, Indian reservation type area, where most of the housing was really old or trailers. So I thought, okay, how, how do I make this town in Wyatt feel like a trailer park without literally being a trailer park as we would see it in the real world? So I had to think about the dominant vehicles in this world, which is aircraft, you know, airships and all that stuff. And I basically designed the houses to look like they're made out of scrap parts from airships and small air aerodynes that no longer work and have just been kind of built around and turned into houses by the people that live there and now inhabit the mining town. So could I have come up with that if I had just set out to do the world building first? I, yeah, I guess I could have, but I don't think I would have come up with it that quickly. I, I came up with it because I got to a point in the story pretty early on, because it's at the start of the book, where I realized, okay, I need to, I need this location to tell a story without me having to spell it out for people. So in my case, I really need to already be drawing a storyboard or a comic to give me the sense of urgency needed in order to economize my design decisions as I make them. Because if I start out with world building, I really don't know where to end with the world building. I, I need to get moving with the story and the story 
reveals the world to me. And I get contacted a lot by people who are working on big projects of their own. They're stuck in the world building stage and they can't seem to move forward towards any kind of end product. Uh, my suggestion for them is not necessarily to try and uh, replicate my method. Maybe it works for you, maybe it won't. But the one thing I've, I've noticed a lot of world builders lacking in is a why for what they're doing. It's really cool to see world building. I, I've, I've got a shelf full of books that are just full of it. But if you're trying to tell a story that you want people to care about, and most importantly, that you'll care about, you need to have a reason to be making this. And in my case, it was having these two characters, Wyatt and Wreck, that I was just deeply in love with. Like I, I couldn't ignore them. I couldn't put them down. And if you're struggling with your project, you know, like you feel like you're just endlessly world building and redrawing maps and redrawing armor designs and what have you, it's probably because you haven't found your vital why for doing this thing and you need to do that. That can be really hard, but trust me, once you figure it out, once you get that, everything else just locks into place and it gets a lot easier from there. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I try to respond to everybody, so don't be shy. And also, share this video with your friends, hit the like button, subscribe, make sure you're still subscribed, and hit the bell so you receive notifications when I post next time. I'll see you around.